Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you my working space because so many of you wanted me to show you how and using what I work. I do most of my digital painting and drawing on this 27 inch iMac. It's an old model but it was powerful when I bought it. And for most of my works I use Adobe Photoshop software. On my left side I have my ASO monitor connected and this monitor shows really nice but also true to live colors so it's important when you do prints or send files somewhere. And I use my smooth 13 inch Cintiq tablet for most of the painting work but because of the iPad Pro that I have been using uh, I use it mostly as a regular tablet having Photoshop displayed on the big screen. It's really useful especially while editing paintings. And I scan most of my watercolor paintings with this Canon Canon Scan 9000F Mark II. It's a really nice name. And it's a really good scanner that makes beautiful colors and sharp scans. Uh, the problem is that it's small, it's only A4, so sometimes I have to scan the pictures in two parts and then put those parts together in Photoshop. But I really uh, like this scanner and I use it a lot for my for all of my works. So this is the printer I use for my Ticktail stuff. So for the prints that you can buy on my Ticktail store. And this one is good because it prints on all kinds of media, so on specialty papers. But it also can print uh, large stuff up to A3 and more. So it's also good for my watercolors. I can print the sketches I make digitally and then trace them to my watercolor paper. And this is my desk that I use to do all my handwork, so watercolors and other paints and cutting stuff and erasing stuff and sketching. So my digital work and my work that I do by hand is divided, so I'm less distracted also by the computer. Okay, so this is my handiwork desk and on the left side I have the speaker to listen to music and two lights, so one here that I can adjust and one there that makes the table kind of lit evenly. And from the left side here I have my iPad that I use for displaying uh, some materials, some references if I need to and quick access to the internet if I need to search for something. But I prefer the iPad because it takes less space than a notebook. Okay, so here I have my paints and this is the standard Schmincke 48 color set that you know with some additional colors here that I use from time to time and my ceramic palettes uh, for mixing colors and here is like uh, the one page of the manga that I'm working on right now uh, before coloring. Here I have some additional things that I use in my daily work. Uh, I have my electric pencil sharpener that I use a lot for example I can take this pencil and just sharpen it in a matter of seconds and it's really useful. Uh, I have some additional things like all kinds of tape, all kinds of um, razors, all kinds of like a small knife, all kinds of uh, er more erasers, more pencil sharpeners, my water tank, the ceramic water tank, a cloth that is really important in painting with watercolors, and the brushes I currently use for the piece I'm working on. Additionally, I have a lot of uh, stuff here like some other brushes that I don't use so often some pencils some pens uh, a lot of rapidographs and, and inking pens more pencils uh, some knives some knives and scissors uh, more brushes that uh, I have here for other purposes like more specialist brushes some pens and the pencils I uh, usually use for my work additionally I have the tissue paper here which is really also important for watercolor painting and I use it a lot. And this is my pen case. Here I have some uh, white paints that I usually use for my painting and black ink for the rapidograph pens and some masking fluid for uh, watercolor painting again. And a small notebook. Okay, so here under the table I have my hair dryer which I use a lot while watercolor painting and I really recommend having one on hand like this when you need to dry something really fast. It's really useful. And there's a lot of stock paper there, like animation paper, cell paper and my tracing table also that I use sometimes for my uh, for tracing the sketches to my watercolor paper. And here on my left side I also have a lot of stock watercolor papers 
and the paper that I usually use for my watercolor painting is here. Okay, so this is the server rack. So we have our router and a network drive that we can do backups and share files with uh, over the local network, which is really useful. And a nice router for live broadcasts that I do on YouTube. So it's a, a kind of a fast router. And here I have my comics that I use for reference and some sketchbooks. I have too many sketchbooks and the Blu-ray uh, discs of Studio Ghibli movies that we own. Here are some storyboards of Studio Ghibli movies also, and some other art books and comics and children's books I use for reference from time to time. The CD player that we use to play music with while working, and some art books of Studio Ghibli also here. And this is the Studio Ghibli art books and some works of Hayao Miyazaki and from like and some character books and design books from other people also. And here I have more sketchbooks, like larger ones that I use for sketching stuff uh, for my comics and animations and other projects. Some paper, a spare scanner that I don't use so much anymore and some junk drawers for cables and USB stuff and like all kinds of things that we have to match off. Here we have a board that is like a magnetic board that you can write on. So we can write our schedule for the next week and also just paste stuff that is kind of repetitive. So we have some tasks like answering emails or making watercolor sketches that I can just take from here and put on the board to plan our week. Okay, so next to my desk is Kana's desk, so her monitor and laptop and the Wacom tablet that she uses to make her work but also Recently she uses the iPad Pro uh, for uh, making her art and a small printer that we use for all of our everyday prints like usual A4 stuff that you have to print every day. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and learned something from our art space that you can use. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon. See you in the next video. Bye!